Hi, welcome back to another video, day three of my trip to Burrs Country Park. Um, it's midday, I am um, walking from the campsite down towards Bury. Uh, I'm going to catch the tram down into Manchester, have an afternoon down there. Not quite sure what I'm going to do, whether I'm going to do some filming for my other channel or just have a little wander around in the sunshine. Uh, it's not raining, it is cloudy, uh, but the sun is trying to uh, trying to come through. So let's see what uh, Manchester has to offer today. I've done this walk a few times now. Um, it's a convenient little track down into Bury, whether you're going into Bury itself or onwards into Manchester, which I have done uh, a couple of times whilst I've been staying here. Uh, just crossing over the river now. Uh, I'm on a serviced pitch at Burrs. Um, I know I'm on my own, but I like the convenience of, uh, of having that uh, uh, water on tap um, and just being able to dump the waste nice and conveniently. Uh, for me, it is worth that extra. I think it works out about an extra five pounds a night. Didn't quite get the view that I wanted on the pitch. Uh, I like to look over onto the uh, railway, but um, there wasn't much choice left um, with it being so busy over the coronation weekend. Uh, one thing I did notice, um, which I've never had to do before at Burrs, is that I did need to get the uh, the ramps out. It just did need that extra little bit of, um, of lift uh, to get the van level. surprised me how far um, this walk is it's further than I uh, think it's taken me uh, about 30 minutes and that's at a brisk pace we are now coming I'm at Piccadilly. Uh, I'm just doing a bit of filming here for an hour or so um, for some content for my Loco Shed 1977 channel. Um, this is all sort of uh, railway related. Um, So if that's your thing, I'll put a link in the description below or just head over to my channel youtube.com at uh, locoshed1977. Uh, I'm gonna have an hour or so here and then I'm gonna continue my little trip around uh, Manchester this afternoon. So I've had a good um, hour and a half, nearly two hours maybe, uh, on Manchester Piccadilly, doing some filming for uh, the Loco Shed channel. So I'm gonna call it uh, a day there. I'm gonna head over um, towards Victoria. I've got a, a ticket um, to go across, across the city on the train. Uh, and then I'm gonna um, decide what we're gonna do next uh, in Manchester city centre. Uh, Um, jumped off at Deansgate uh, which gives me an opportunity to pop into somewhere that I've been hearing a lot about um, and given it's half past three now going up to four o'clock it's just the right time to be calling in uh, no 
haven't been there before. I don't know this little part of Manchester, but uh, hopefully Google Maps will uh, get me in the right direction. Not sure if I got off at the wrong station. I thought where I was heading was just outside Deansgate. Um, I think it might have been outside Oxford Road, but the two aren't too far apart, so um, should be just a, a short little walk. Um, but yeah, I've never been down this part of Manchester before. So. I believe this building behind me, the Hacienda Apartments, uh, was built on the site of the Hacienda Nightclub, which, although I was not a Manchester raver, I did actually go there in 1991 to see a band called uh, World of Twist. Um, the one and only time that I went to the uh, went to the Hacienda, and I'm certain that that. Um, apartment block was built on the site of the old Hacienda nightclub. This is what I was looking for, not as uh, far as I was expecting uh, on Google Maps, but look at this fabulous building in the heart of modern Manchester. Great little historic um, traditional pub. Uh, I'm led to believe that it's is, is it listed or there's some reason that it, it, it can't be demolished. It's surrounded by modern apartment blocks and modern buildings, um, but a great little traditional multi roomed pub. Uh, I'm gonna have a little wander now um, back through Manchester, sort of work my way back up towards Victoria and the, uh, the tram back up to Bury. The uh, sun is trying to come out, it's actually quite warm. We've had uh, all kinds of Mancunian weather in the last couple of days. Um, but yeah, this is the best day so far. I'm actually uh, regretting putting the uh, thick cap on. Um, but you can never tell what's, what's going to happen. One minute it looks as if it was going to bounce it down. Next minute the sun's out. So. Um, I've no idea where I'm going. I'm sort of wandering in the general direction of the city centre and Victoria. down towards Victoria. I think the Arndale is on my right. Um, Manchester really does have an astonishing mix of the old and new. Some beautiful old buildings from its days when it was Cottonopolis, centre of the uh, British, if not world, cotton industry. Um, but it's also modernised so well. I mean it really is a sort of a Really, is a sort of a modern city. You don't have to get there. Avoid the temptation to go and look at uh, more camera equipment. I'm um, using the GoPro today because um, it's a little bit more um, discreet than the larger outfit that I was using yesterday. I um, thought we'd better use the GoPro um, today with. Uh, been in the city centre. MS there, which does have a really good food hall. So, 
I might treat myself to something from Marks and Spencers tonight for, for tea before I got the, to get the tram back up to Bury. But I'm not in any massive rush to head up to Bury at the moment. So I think, keeping the traditional pub theme going, I'm going to head um, up into the Northern Quarter. Uh, and another well-regarded traditional historic pub uh, that I've been hearing lots about that um, I think it, today might be a good opportunity to go and see it uh, tea time on a Tuesday hopefully it shouldn't be uh, it shouldn't be too busy uh, and the print works shr shrouded by scaffolding um, so I'm guessing that's seen some kind of uh, upgrade or renovation. Uh, I'm going to head now up into the northern quarter. Um, I think I know where I'm going. Uh, it's Rochdale Road, um, one of the main roads out of town. So I'll see if I can find the next port of call. Now I'm old enough to remember when the print works really was a print works. It was the um, headquarters of the Daily Mirror, or the northern editions of the Daily Mirror. Um, and at the time there were an awful lot of um, trains that ran out of Manchester, Victoria, um, newspaper trains. I remember seeing those in the uh, in the 80s. I think there were other newspapers based up here as well. I think they had their uh, northern editions based out of Manchester, all long gone now. Uh, but yes, I do remember the print works being the offices of the Daily Mirror when that uh, crook Maxwell took it over in sort of what was that mid 80s, 84, 85, 86, something like that. Um, for those of you that don't know Manchester, the building has been turned into one of these sort of leisure and retail places, cinemas and shops and restaurants, that kind of thing. This is uh, Shoed Hill, uh, just outside of Victoria, a um, bit of a Metro Lincoln bus interchange. I think this is Rochdale Road. I think this is the road that I need to be heading down for uh, hopefully just a few hundred metres. So down there is the northern quarter, um, it's where the fierce bar is that uh, I went to on the last trip that I did into Manchester back in November. I uh, think I'm on a bit of a dead end here. I think, though I'm not an expert, that this was the old Smithfield Market. I think it was an old fish market. Um, I wonder if the name Salmon Street is part of a clue. Um, now no longer used as a fish market. It looks from a distance as if they've actually built uh, apartment blocks in the uh, perimeter of the old market. I'm guessing that um, those perimeter walls are probably listed because they are really quite, uh, quite spectacular. Still, more and more construction. Everywhere you go in Manchester, there seems to be construction going on at the moment. Yes, this is it. This is what I've heard about. Um, again, another traditional pub, so I'm led to believe uh, this is the uh, Marble Arch Inn. They do brew beers as well. There is a Marble Arch Brewery. I'm not sure if they brew it um, in the pub or uh, off-premises, but um, they do do some 
very nice beers that uh, I've certainly had over in Halifax. I've heard a lot about this pub, uh, about it being very traditional, um, so I'm looking forward uh, to seeing what it's like. Um, here goes. Well, that was certainly worth popping into. What a, a wonderful sort of old-fashioned pub. Um, really sloping floor from the entrance uh, down towards the bar. Um, but yeah, well worth it. Uh, the uh, Marble Arch Brewery, uh, the guy was telling me he's been going for about 25 years. Although the pub has been there in various guises and various names for a lot, lot um, longer than that. So just having a chat with the guy in the uh, Marble Arch, he uh, recommended another old-fashioned traditional pub um, that's not too far away from Victoria. So if I've got my direction right, I'm going to go and uh, quickly just have a look at that one as well. And I think accidentally found it. He did say it was the uh, the Crown and Kettle, which uh, is there on the corner. I think I'll have a wander across. And um, looking at this building here, which is called the Express Building, which I am guessing in Manchester's newspaper days was the uh, building for the uh, for the Express newspapers. I've never seen this before. But, yep, here it is, the Crown and Kettle, just across the road. Have a quick little pit stop there before heading back. Not sure how traditional it is. Uh, it's certainly very nice, a uh, modern twist on an old building, but I need to be very careful because there's music playing and I don't want a copyright strike. Right, that was very enjoyable. Now it really is time to uh, head back towards Victoria and uh, put the tram back towards Bury. So that's the uh, crown and kettle done. Um, I think I preferred the marble arch, to be honest. I'm just walking back down towards Victoria, hopefully in the right direction. I know Victoria Station is not too far away, so I'm not too concerned about getting lost. Um, it really is a sort of lovely evening in Manchester. Everywhere is busy. Which is uh, which is great to see. Yeah, I know where I am now. This is the uh, street where my old favourite, the Fierce Bar, is. Where I'm going to pass on calling in at there today. I'm just going to head straight back down to Victoria. Just popped in quickly to uh, Marks and Spencer's just to get some provisions for uh, dinner tonight. Uh, and that is it, that is my day done in Manchester. Uh, I'm heading now to Victoria to get the tram back up to Bray.
well, never seen uh, Victoria so quiet. Um, half past seven on a Tuesday night. Guess I've missed the worst of the rush hour. Uh, but yeah, yeah, a lot quieter than it was uh, at the same time last year when I came in November. Double car set due in three minutes, and uh, another one after that in six minutes. So I can't complain at uh, that. Just coming into Bury now, end of the line. It's taken about 20 minutes from Victoria, which I don't think is bad at all. Um, what a great day in Manchester. Really enjoyed it. <laughs> 